Today, we'll walk through how you can create your own key value labeling data set using the data labeling service. You'll be creating this data set in order to train your own custom key value extraction model using OCI document understanding service. So we're here on the data labeling service homepage. Um, you can find that when you navigate to analytics and AI. Um, under machine learning, you will click data labeling service. This is the overview page. We're going to first start by creating a data set. Um, I'll click this create data set panel there, um, and I'm going to name this data set. Description and labeling instructions are optional. Um, now, this is a very important step for your data set format. Um, we are going to be annotating key value pairs in documents, so we're choosing the document format, and we're choosing the key value annotation class. Now, if you haven't gotten limited availability access, you won't see this uh, third bullet here, um, which means that you'll need to request access before moving on to the next steps. Once you click next, we're going to upload our sample documents. Now we can either upload sample documents um, from a local file or from uh, any files that we have within object storage. I'm selecting uh, local files. Second, we have to choose where we want this data labeling service data set to be stored in object storage. Um, so I'm selecting my demo bucket and I'm um, adding a prefix here as well. And now we upload our files. Um, so I just have a few documents here that are essentially sort of shipping forms. And so for this data set, there are four fields that I care about that I want to extract. Um, one of them is a recipient, so I'm writing that in here, and I'm clicking Enter. I also care about basically uh, the, the name of the carrier, so I'm going to call that carrier name. I have a, an ID, it's like a shipping ID that I also want to extract, so I'm going to call that one shipping ID. And then the last one is that there's a trailer number. Once I've added all the labels that I plan to annotate once this data set is created, I click Next. Here I can review everything that I already filled out in steps one and two. And if I'm happy with what I have here, including my full label set, I click Create. So this step can take a few seconds up to a couple minutes just to generate the data records. So you'll stay on this page until you see if the generating records step on the upper right-hand side is 100% complete. Now my data records have been generated. Um, you can see them all listed here, and they all have a status of enabled. So now I'm going to go into these sample documents uh, and show you how you can label these key value pairs. So um, these, again, are exactly the names of labels I uh, typed in when I was generating the data set to begin with. So for recipient, this is basically the name of the person who's on the two line here. Um, you have a few options for how you can label this. Um, you can basically click on each word and then click that as recipient, click the second word as recipient. Um, you can delete by basically, if you click on this, there's an X that will show up if you click on something you've already labeled. That is how you remove labels. If you have uh, some sort of field where there's more than one word, like addresses and names, you can also just basically just drag around that area to highlight both and click recipient, and you'll see that basically both are highlighted at the same time. Now, another thing to note here is that you only need to annotate the actual values that you're looking for, not the field name like two um, when you're doing this exercise here. So I'm going to click here for the carrier name. That's that field there. Um, this is the field for uh, the shipping ID, and this is the trailer number. And then I click Save and Next to go to the next document that's unlabeled. And I'll repeat this process again where there's a carrier name. Um, this one here is the recipient. This is the shipping ID number, and the general number is here. Uh, also note that I can review basically everything that I've labeled here on the summary tab. And I'll show you one more thing. Basically, if you're going through this and let's say you have only 
uh, labeled the carrier name here, and I click Save and Next. Um, you actually just get a bit of a prompt because uh, you're, you're getting warned that basically you've only labeled a subset of all the fields. So um, it's a nice feature in case you sort of accidentally are going too fast and you forget to label something like recipient or shipping ID and trailer number. So this is the process where you basically can just um, tick through annotating all your documents. You'll know when you're done by basically looking at this, this year, and you'll see the status will switch to labeled for every single one of these documents. And you want to make sure that all of them are labeled. And that's the end-to-end -end process for how you can label your key value annotation data set in data labeling service in order to train a custom key value extraction model in OCI document understanding service. Thank you.